I'm asked that question a lot. The business has changed so drastically. Remember, I came from an era um, where I'd work for other composers and I would sit and, and orchestrate, you know, I was their orchestrator. And then I graduated into doing my own stuff, but all with pencil and paper and you know, and, and I, I will add that back then, you kind of knew immediately who had it and who didn't. And it's a weird thing. It's not fair, but certain people had it. I would hear certain composers' music go, mm, they've got it. And, and others, I don't know. And there's no right or wrong to it. So the first thing I'd say is I think you're born with it, uh, with something. And if, you, if you're lucky enough to be born with something like that, some gift for music, that's huge because then it makes the learning of the skills and the, and, and the study that much easier because you, you have a sort of a knack for it. You have music in your soul. Does that make sense? I think people have, certain people have music born in their soul and they just, they're going to have to create it no matter what. That was who I was. I had to, you asked me earlier, I had to write. I had to write those songs. If I didn't, I I explode. I I mean, I had to like get it out, and I still feel that way. So, answering your question, there's the business side of it, and there's the passion side of it. And the business side of it, you can learn. You know, you can learn. You have to meet music supervisors. You have to know the heads of music. You have to all this gobbledygook. But I think what's most important is that you have to sit at that keyboard and create it. Because if you don't, you're going to die. That's what I think. If you have that, then I don't think, I don't think there's anything that is going to hold you back. And I, I can say that now at this age of my life, now that I'm becoming the elder statesman, I think that's most important. I think the most important thing is the inner fire. Because if you don't have the inner fire, the business the Hollywood thing will kind of eat you alive. And you know, we work in this business. It's a tough business and you got to develop a shell. So I'd say that my best advice would be develop the the passion and the fire. You have to do this. If you have to do this, then you're going to be successful. Then study, 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 and never think any of your music's any good because it's probably not. You know, I, I never think anything I've written can ever equal some of my heroes like Jerry and John and Bruce Brown, you know, it just, let's be honest. It, if I do someday write that piece of music, somebody will maybe tell me when I'm long gone or tell the world, but you know what I'm saying, John? It's like, I get a lot of younger composers who They'll tell, you know, I'll ask, oh, how are you doing? You know, I haven't spoken to them in a while. What's going on? Let me hear your latest stuff. And, and the, sometimes the response I'll get will be, I think I've really written my best work, you know, and I know immediately when I hear that, uh-uh, it's not happening. Because I tell you, John Williams is the first one to tell you. I was the backstage Hollywood Bowl a few years ago. I said, Maestro, what can I say? E.T., I go, I have no word. You know, When I'm with John, I can't talk, you know? So I said, uh, my God, you know, the theme for you. He goes, ah, baby. He goes, "Uh, it's probably a nice little tune. It worked out, you know? (laughs) But he feels that way. He really does. He's always, from what I've read and when when I've heard him interviewed, and I always pay close attention because he's, he's a hero of mine and ours, I don't think John ever is satisfied with anything. And you know that, John. You've interviewed him. So we should, I don't think young composers, as young composers, never be satisfied. Just never be satisfied. Never assume that you're Mozart or Beethoven or John Williams. You're not. But be the best that you can be from your heart and soul. That's what I'd say.